friend of mine just scored a few of those broadcast cameras using silicon tubes on eBay, but they all needed some sort of adjustments or fix. I always had a thing for vacuum tube devices, so I immediately volunteered. The unit I'll show in this video had the image upside down for some reason, not sure why one would want that. Originally, I thought maybe it was for some kind of teleprompter tweak, but it doesn't make any sense. Only the prompter screen needs to be reversed, so your guess is probably better than mine. The beauty about those devices is that they work almost on the same principle as CRT projectors, but instead of having the electron beam shooting the tube's phosphor coating to create light, the phosphor is replaced by a photoconductive surface. The camera then just reads the amplitude of the light where the beam hits. This Z31 has three tubes, red, green, and blue. It is a marvel of engineering and extremely well designed. Everything is made to be serviceable. They even provided pass-through riser cards. The backplane is packed with cards, one for each section of the block diagram. For our upside-down image issue, after quite some time analyzing the circuit, my only guess was that the vertical deflection coils, or actually plates in our case, were swept. After checking the high-voltage deflection board, everything seemed to be normal. As you can see on the scope, we have reversed sawtooth signals driving both the top and bottom deflection plates. So my next step was to locate the vertical deflection pins from the tube socket and swap them from the connector side. The image was now sweeping the right way and I was left with a full recalibration process to perform. Good thing is, once again, all the controls are similar to a CRT projector and I have some mileage there. After about half an hour adjusting the beam, focus, convergence, amplitude, linearity and so on, the camera is now ready. I am very impressed with the quality and the color rendering of this camera. The image sure has a vintage look, and you can't really avoid the typical lag, but the signal is extremely clean. I tried to capture raw footage, but my cheap $5 USB capture device really can't give it any justice. Through the PVM or the LCD TV though, the results are amazing for a composite signal. I would love to extract the RGB signals, but there's absolutely no diagram online. I found the sync poles and RGB signals, but they have significant DC offset, and I'm not sure how to clamp those. I tried using various capacitor values, but I couldn't get a decent result. So if you have any idea, please leave me a comment. Once again, thanks for watching.